Hello everybody, this is the awesome one. Today we are looking at Tomb of the Mask. You can see I played a little bit prior to make sure that I have some decent um, quality control now. So I know what I'm getting into. This is a fun game with a good concept on it. And, uh, you know, so what you gotta do. Uh, you wanna take this little dude and collect all the crap with him. And you do that by swiping in directions. You swipe right, he goes right. Swipe left, he goes left. Now, the thing is that you have some of these walls. The blue walls will kill you if you run into them. So, for certain ones like this, I could swipe right. But I'd run into the blue wall. So I have to go like this. Swipe over, and then I can hit all the things to be able to make it through. I don't want to read just yet. So, depending on, oh jeez, depending on where you're at at that point, uh, you can get these chests and you open it up and it has just a chance to give you just basically anything but it seems to only ever give you the 25s so we're gonna move on to the next stage uh, there's an arcade mode too uh, I think we'll probably check that out in a little bit. And you can also get um, masks that have special things. This is just the base one because I've played just short of nothing. So, every level has something that makes it a little more challenging. This one has rising water. And if you don't go fast enough to... Oh, frick, I forgot to put on the shield before I... And you die. And then... I believe you only lose those... When you die. We're going to replay this one, but we're going to make sure that we put on a shield first. I swear, if Lineage 2 Revolution just doesn't leave me alone. If you want to see with Lineage 2 Revolution, probably not going to happen. But, you know, who knows? It might. So, come here, go fast. Go down. Oh, oh. Now, what the dots do is the dots give you those things. So, if you get all the dots in this stage, you get bonus. And that's the only reason to collect the dots is that if you get all of them, then you can get stuff. You thought Fortress Siege was crazy. Oh, man, dude. Fortress Siege. Now, that's cool. But Castle Siege, man. Castles are fortresses. This is A castle is a fortress, but a fortress is not necessarily a, a castle. Oh, frick.
So you gotta go fast when you come across these little blue portions. Because if you sit on them for any amount of time, it will take you out. This is like True Jedi and Lego Star Wars. Hold up, I'm gonna dim that down a bit because this is blinding me. I, I don't care, I don't want to try to load 60 different characters fighting sequences on my phone at the same time. That would be very, very hard on me and my phone. So we're going to play one more of these levels. Alrighty then, well, I honestly think that's pretty fun. Oh, and you get you can get a shield from it too. Nice. So we're gonna move. Uh, how long have we been doing this? Seven minutes. Yeah, we'll we'll play a bit on arcade. This didn't want to be like thirteen minutes and be like, yeah, we'll do the arcade one. Hey, landscaping pro. Hmm. <sighs> um, yeah, we're gonna go over to arcade. Classic endless mode. Oh, frick. I mean, it is endless. It's not like I'm going to be missing any, like, important things if I don't go after every single dot. I want that coin. I never went for the, I never used the shield thing, but okay, mate. Oh, how the crap did that take me out? I had a shield. I have no idea what that is, and I kind of don't want to know. Okay, cool. Plus 20% coins, man, so, you know. Good stuff.
It was kind of like a poor planning spot to put it right there when I was like swiping everything. In this one spot. I didn't use a shield there, I tried to swipe and it just tapped. Oh, jeez. Went a little bit too early. I mean, Arcade's pretty fun. There's a lot more ads in Arcade. And I'm not going to watch more Lineage 2 Revolution than I have to. Because I don't want to play it. There we go, man. Like, you know, you get... Alrighty then. See if I click down here back to the map. And hopefully it doesn't kill you. There we go. I feel almost like this is like one of those like the bike ride game where like you know, super fast paced and also I don't like the shield thing. I want to just have to like click the shield. I don't want the shield to just be like, oh, you definitely want me in your life right now. Because 99% of the time I don't want it. Oh, frick. The only problem I see with some of these is that the colors are so close. And I guess that does add another element of uh, hard, like, into the game. Makes it a bit more challenging, which I'm all open for, man. Like, makes the game harder so that it gives you more, like... Oh, it's whatever the frick this thing is again. Get me the frick away from this. I don't need that in my life. Out of this house! So, since this time, we don't really need to go super fast. We're just going to go fast enough to, you know, not die and stuff. But we're going to take a couple nanoseconds. Oh, frick. I keep, like, seeing it when it's purple and then it doesn't switch to blue fast enough that I, like, recognize it as a deadly thingy. I like this version of kind of like the Candy Crush, where you have a certain amount of lives per day. I just knocked my left headphone out. Bill? Why? Who's Bill? Maybe if I would have watched that whole commercial, because it would have been more, in, if it was more interesting, I would have watched the whole thing. Oh, frick, I keep forgetting that that's the one that just kind of will hit you back. Dang, man. Uh, I gotta be at least stage 7. Who I pray. <sighs> okay. So. Holy frick, that's a lot of balls. I like how they... A lot of these new games are doing, like, new, pro, me, my girlfriend, like, just really odd ways to promote. Okay, so we're going to wait for that one to shoot all the way out, go back in, and then, okay, so this one's going to, Uh, 
kind of got a hit. Down there like that. Like that. There we go. Just gotta take a moment to think. <sighs> uh, you know what? Oh. What? How does playing a game get you rewarded? I know there's other ones that are like, uh, a little whole different video on the one that I use for that kind of a thing. I don't know why they have that one there. You can't actually, like, kill yourself with it. You can't get next to it unless you finish the stage. Um, you know, I guess it's about time for uh, those closing remarks. It is way late for those closing remarks. Stupid easy money, that's great. Most of these are like, yeah, if it tells you to just play one game and get it from it, ah. Uh, there are others that are working well, and I'll make a video on that later today. But, closing on the game, like the old style, it's cool, like, complete stage 5 without revive. Okay. Uh, I like this game, it, it has a lot of things that it does really well, and I feel like if you like these kind of more puzzly based games you should definitely spring for this one i'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because it works really well it does what it says it'll do and it does it without a ton of lag so you know like the some of the power-ups and stuff are kind of expensive like 200 gold for these but like you can upgrade your things you can get more and more and honestly feels like a good game uh you know it does a lot of things well these are all the masks you can get by the way subscribe yeah these are all like really cool this is the let's see what's the highest one the voodoo mask Oh jeez, yeah, that's all. That's a lot for that. But anyways, guys, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it, so be sure to hit the like button down below if you want to see more of these kind of uh, more basic arcade games in the future. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>